everyone and welcome to the Excel challenge. In this video, I'm going to show you a way to compare data in charts that automatically update when values are selected from drop-down menus. For this example, I'm using the 50 states of the USA and I am comparing the area, the population, and the population density of each. Over here, I have five drop-down menus that I can select the name of the state from and quickly compare, let's say, Georgia to Michigan. And as you can see, as I select a value from the drop-down menu, the bars in the charts are getting updated automatically. If you want to see how to create this spreadsheet, stay tuned. So the first thing we need to do is prepare a database. For this example, I have a pretty simple database which contains four columns. One is the state name, the second one is the area, then I have its population, and then the population density for each of the 50 states. Of course, I have 50 rows, one for each state. Next thing I'm gonna do is create a temporary working table where I can compare two states for now. In this case, I'm comparing Alabama to Alaska. Let's start creating our charts. I'm gonna start with area. So I'm just gonna insert a bar chart over here. And quickly I'm gonna do some formatting. So right there, we have a chart showing the comparison of the area of the two states. Let's create a couple more charts. All I'm gonna do is copy and paste and paste. Next thing I'm gonna do is select the second chart, drag my selection over, and finally my third chart, select and grab the selection over. I have the three charts now. Last thing I'm gonna do is just some coloring so I can distinguish the three of them. Okay, now we have our three charts where we can compare area, population, and population density. I'm, two, I'm comparing two states. Let's say I want to compare California to Colorado. I'm going to copy and paste. All three charts updated. You can see California and Colorado area, California and Colorado population, California and Colorado population density. Now, I don't want to be copying and pasting, but instead I want to be pulling the data from my database. So what I'm going to do is vertically look up using the VLOOKUP formula. So we're going to say equals VLOOKUP tab. When Excel asks me for the lookup value, this is the value I need to find in my database, comma. This is the database where I want to find the value that I'm vertically looking up, comma. The column that I want to find in this case is area. Area is my second column, therefore I'm gonna say two. And finally, Excel gives me an option to find an approximate match to the value in this cell or an exact match. I want an exact match, so I'm gonna say false. Close parenthesis, enter. Now my data will be updated automatically. Next thing I'm gonna do is copy the VLOOKUP formula and I'm gonna paste that in this cell. The only thing I'm gonna do is replace finding the second column for the third column, which is population. And finally, I'm gonna paste the same formula and I'm gonna say, I wanna find the fourth column, which is population density. So now, these three cells are gonna be updated as I change the content. For example, Florida, enter. The three cells got updated, so did the charts. So now I have formulas 
in the first row of my working table. What I'm going to do is drag these formulas down. Now I have formulas in the two rows of my working table. So let's compare, for example, New York State to Texas. So the data in both lines got updated. So did the three charts. Now, I don't want to be typing the name of the state. So instead, I want to insert a drop down menu where I can select values from. So if I go to my cells, I go to data, data validation, data validation, and I say I want a list. And I want to show in that list the values in this range. So I'm going to select the names of the states from Alabama to Wyoming. OK. And I'm just going to copy my list down. Now I have two drop down menus where I can compare data. So let's compare Arkansas to Connecticut. Area in square miles, Arkansas and Connecticut. Population, Arkansas and Connecticut. Population density, Arkansas and Connecticut. Let's compare to Indiana. So that's how the charts are updated automatically as I select a value from a drop down menu. Let's go to a bonus trick. Let's say you're done, you have built all of your database, but you want to see more values in each chart. So what you want to do is insert cells in this range. When I click on this chart, you will see my range is between two and three. If I were to insert cells down here, I'm just going to show you, insert, shift the cells down. If I click on the chart, my range is the same. Now I'm going to undo. What I want to do instead is break the range as I'm showing, and I'm going to insert, let's say, three more rows. Insert, shift the cells down. Let's bring these charts up a little bit so we can see them at the same time. OK. Last thing I want to do is fill down using Control D. Now I have five rows that I can compare. So we're going to compare Arkansas to Florida. We're also going to compare Delaware. We're going to compare Kentucky. And we're going to compare Montana. So that's how we can quickly compare data in charts by selecting values from a drop down menu, which will automatically update the charts. And that's all for today. If you have a challenge with Excel that you need help with, whether it's at work, at home, or at school, please write it in the comments below. I try to resolve the most common challenges of our viewers and subscribers. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.